R&B money. What artists have come through? Like we 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 tapped on it a little, mm-hmm. bit, but like because you were in the game so early, mm-hmm. and you were you guys were so instrumental in a lot of the younger artists getting their first looks. Yeah, like give us a roll call if you can of just like the artists that mm-hmm. y'all have either been a part of, opened up for y'all. Like, well, yeah, I mean, you got Brandy, Monica, Usher, Drew Hill, Jesus. Destiny Child. Uh, just off the top, that's what I can think of. And then who came through as just artists that were a part of your label, or a uh, part? You know what I mean? Like, I think it was B Two K was the only only artist that we had like on the label, and um, you know. But as far as artists that we've just you know had contact with or produced something with and everything like that, I mean, you got like Seven O Two back in the day, uh, Brandy Ray J, of course. You know, it's just there's so there's so many, you know, that from like, you know, even like Kim Kardashian being the 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 model for for Chris's jean company. Like that was like her first gig. That was her first oh, wow. thing. Yeah. 2007. Yeah, I remember that. That was the whole thing. Like, you know, uh, Chris was responsible for getting in their show on E because E did a, a, a special on him. Because of the jeans, she was like naked with just the jeans on. And like the whole thing was a big article on Times Square. And that's what, you know, got the attention of E and how they got their show and everything like that. So just being instrumental and did watching. Did he have a girl group too, though? He did have a girl group. It was TG4. Uh, Seven Streeter was in TG4. <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, just. And then Mila and them had a group too. No, or, Mila, or, Mila did have. A or was group. she in TG? She wasn't in TG. She wasn't in TG four. She was in another group, and then she did solo. Okay. Janae, Chris started Janae. So, I mean, it's it's funny too because Janae actually, Tina, their mom. You mm-hmm. know, Miyoko, Jamila, and Janae, sisters, three sisters. Tina is their mom, and they Miyoko and Jamila were our background singers on our tour, Immature. So that's how they kind of like you know started in the industry, and then they had their group girl. Mm-hmm. Which was Mila, Miyoko, and Paulette. And when Paul Janae B. was six, yeah. Paul. So when Janae was six, she would sing all the time. She would sing Joyful, Joyful. And Chris would hear her sing and he would be like, Tina, I want to work with Janae. She's 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 bomb, you know what I'm saying? She can sing so good. She's only six and she can sing. And she was like, Oh no, I don't want her to be in the industry. So, you know, um, he ended up working with Janae when she was like twelve, did an album and didn't really, you know. She was with the whole B2K thing, and I think that I think it just she was maybe too young or too ahead of her time at that at that moment. But like, you know, her there's so just just so much. When I sit back, and I just look at everybody, mm-hmm. and where they are now, and to be able to have been to contributed to that you know, is a big deal for me because a lot of people don't, they don't realize, you know, all of that stuff, you know, and it's just like, you don't, sometimes you don't get like, like how you said, you want people to, to, to know you, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes I, I feel like if people only knew the, the stories, of, you know, all the people that we've had, you know, access to, or, you know, all the careers that Chris started and everything like that, it would just be like, that'd be a crazy movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, there was a point in time where Anything that was from Los Angeles, especially in an R and B space, yeah, it came through y'all. Yeah, it mm-hmm. did. You know, in one way or another. Yeah, and it was it was crazy because even Destiny Child. So Chris and Matthew were really close, and and, and Chris consulted Matthew a lot throughout mm-hmm. like Destiny Child and stuff like that. You know, at one point, me and B were like close. So, you know, I heard all the songs. And stuff before they came like that the writings on the wall album was really that was the album that we were really involved with we produced like three songs on the album only one made it but um you know i would hear all the songs we we i heard bills when they were recorded say, say my name all that stuff so it's it's crazy stories because bills was not the first single so matthew came to the studio he came to our studio in la and he's like i don't play all the album play out what, what we what we going with you know so he sits us in the studio and he played his bugaboo and i remember beyonce had called me she was like was there ever a song called bugaboo when they was recording in the studio and i was like no nah, i don't think it's, i remember this song you're just a bugaboo you're bugging me i'm bugging you you're just a bug it's like i was like that's all i remember though i was like a long long time ago so she was like oh we're doing a song called bugaboo i'm like okay cool let me hear it so she let me hear it i was like that's cool 
So Matthew comes and the song's done. He plays his bugaboo. He's like, this is the single. This is what we going with. We was like, mm, it's cool. It's, it's, it's all right. You know. So then he was like, I'm going to play y'all one more. He was, like, he was like, you know, Beyonce produced this record. I want to play y'all. We was like, okay, play it for us. He plays us Bills. We went ballistic. Never had heard anything so incredible in our. We was all jumping in. We was like, "This is not your single." He was like, "Nah, that's not the single. Bugaboo's the <laughs> single." We was like, "No." Chris locks the door. He said, "I'm locking you in the studio until you change the single to Bills. You will not release Bugaboo. You're gonna release Bills. Trust me." He said, "Mark, go go call B." I get. I I walk out of the studio. I'm like, <clears throat> "B, look. I'll tell you right now, Bills is the single." Trust me, don't go a buck. She was like, well, it's already. I was like, whatever y'all done, if y'all ain't shot a video to it yet, don't do it. Huh. Switch the single. They ended up switching the single to Bills. Can you pay my Ultimo bill? Mm -hmm. The Ultimo. Yeah. Pay Ultimo bill. Or me yeah. and you are through. Through. Did it that, do, 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 yeah. do. Crazy. She did a record with Shakespeare. 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 Yeah. Wow. Shakespeare. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So it's just, I mean, just little stuff like that, like yeah. you know, these stories that that you that you have with you, and and it's just and to see you know where Beyonce is, where Kim Kardashian is, and where all these people are, and you just kind of sit back and you're like you know. I remember when. I remember when. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. R and B money.